Oh right, you didn't put plugs in. Houston, we got a problem. How embarrassing. Artisan van one, pheasant nil. All you true electricians. No, that's cringeworthy. The guys have already hey guys, just doing some filming because the cameraman's not. You're going crazy. Free. anyone wonders why I'm dressed up like I'm going skiing or snowboarding it's not because I'm in Bulgaria with Corey it's because there's been a mad storm morning guys so me and Ruben where are we just north west of Cambridge me and Luke come here a few weeks ago done an EICR the board is in the downstairs toilet and it's literally in a cupboard and there's a little letterbox access to get through to it it's all maxed out it would be a complete nightmare to run a cable all the way around the house get into there change the board so they're looking at changing the garage to an office in the near future and also getting a carport so they're going to need a board to run circuits back to for the carport for the office for the car charger and they're all in this area by the meter cupboard so what we're going to do we've got a nice IP rated enclosure. We're going to stick it next to the meter cupboard. They have got three phases here, but they've not got a three phase meter yet. So for now, we'll have to put it in a Henley block through into our enclosure. We'll put like a 10 way board in there. Our car charger will come off, which is just going to go on the wall here. And then they've got all them future spaces for the other circuits. And you've got a local fuse board to run back to. So it just makes a bit more sense than even touching the house. It's nice to have a, what looks like an easy day because I usually get thrown in the deep end. If there's anything interesting, we'll show you along the way. So the thing was like, guys, come by the office and grab some new tools. Luke come away, I was driving back and he's like, oh, what did you get? And I was like, uh, tape measure and a little snap-off knife. I looked around, he had loads of stuff. He's like, head torch, another torch, tape measure. And I was like, jeez. How good's this though, right? Oh, it doesn't, oh, it doesn't close. Something metal, yeah, stand this up. Look how like, nice and probably good quality and then if you're on your own and it's like metal one hand oh mate you're ripping the back out of that yeah i need to put some screws in but nice quality free <laughs> jordan was like oh luke's took luke's took my marksman he he loves them marksmans he does he's always taken them and luke was like no i didn't i never touched a marksman so do you work on center or in line with the bottom or in line with the top? I reckon in line with the top. Let us know in the comments, guys. Yeah, let us know, but we're already being stuck. I reckon in line with the top, maybe. Yeah. Or no, center? Or the bottom. <laughs> or the bottom. <laughs> or the bottom. Uh, uh, no, let's I reckon go. center. Center. Yeah. Where's my marksman? Luke's always taken it, he loves them. Ruben, have you got it? <sighs> you wait, I bet I'll go find Luke's bag full of mine and Jordan's marksmans. Oh, so so if you drill this, yeah. if you drill this one, and then yeah. we'll hold it up and do a mark. Uh, might have to try to drill it from the inside, out. yeah. Butter. All your college mates are going to see that now. I reckon if we stick them in with a screw, it should seal the hole against the wall. Oh, there's no plugs in there. Oh, right. You didn't put plugs in. What if the car charger turns up at like four, five? It's going to be another late one for Max. Best hammer on the market. I've had that years. Yeah, S Wing. America.
Big boy Corey. Oh, big boy Corey. Yeah, you're right. How's it going? Max said, how comes you didn't answer the media, your chat, bruh? I thought it was an accident. Uh, he just Wait, didn't want to... Max was I was, I was still in bed, mate. He just didn't want to talk to you, Max. Sorry. I tell him I was still in bed. He's still in bed. Ruben's just going to drill the hole through into that meter box ready. So rather than being cramped in the box, I just thought it'd be easier to get the tails and the gland on now. And then I can just put that in, self-tap that to the metal frame at the back. And then all we've got to do for today is just our 25 mil stuffing gland in for our car charger. Can't get a service, can you? Um, yeah, we'll put our car charger away. And then once that's connected in to the existing tails, it's all ready for future use. Um, so yeah, nice little day. I think best bet for this is to be mounted up high so then everyone in the future can stick all their glands in from the bottom of the board. So if you stick that lower down, it's just gonna be tight and hard to work with. So up, and up there, room to bend the tails through into there, room to gland along. So yeah, seal this hole, maybe with fire seal or something. Yeah. I guarantee people to go, you've got a gap there. Maybe put a bit of fire seal along the top as well, or actually silicon. People say, oh, you've, it's not IP rated anymore. Cool, so that's the board mounted, tails in. So we can push the tails through into that cupboard. Yeah. Stick some cable ties around them. These look quite crumbly, these bricks. I guess we'll just clip along low on there and it'll have to jump over the house armoured. So I've got an angle bit in the van we'll have to use. Let me watch it on that. Oh, something's happened to this drawer. John's going to have to sort it out. Look. You reckon there's something behind it? Oh, no, it's like, well. it's like the mechanism's stuck. Yes. Try not to push hard and knock it through, but I was going to try to do this one. Right. But it's obviously the next size down from that, so you don't yeah. want to... Unless you want me to do it. It's up to you. you can do it. Yeah, so that if it messes up, <laughs> it's on me. It's my fault. Gonna be a 20 mil. Uh, Let me do this bottom one first, because that's gonna be a 25. <laughs> Houston, we got a problem. How embarrassing. <laughs> Second battery to Dharma. So, what I've done, I'm going to seal the hole where I've drilled in between, run a bead of silicon along the top just to stop any water getting down that gap. Boards all installed inside. What I've done is I've glanded into the bottom of the enclosure, I've left the inner sheath on and then I've also glanded it in again just so that board's fully protected. What I like to do, I don't really like putting the Wagos and the connections in the board if I don't have to, so I've left this long enough. I'll take that out of a closed grommet that I've just poked a small slot in. So the data cables come up the cable, it's coming back out the board, and what I'll do is I'll, somewhere not too in the way, I'll put a little Wago box and I'll join that because we don't want to connect the CT clamp to these tails, we want to run it through and we want to connect it to the tail that come out of the main switch so it's reading the current from the house as well as this board. So that's there already. So I'll get the breaker in and second fix that. And then really all we can do is clip the cable ready and then we just got to sit, sit about and wait for the um, car charger to be delivered. So 
Might even uh, go over cheeky Maccas. I mean, this isn't really working, but it's better than me blowing it in my face. Did you get that? Minion clips are quite expensive. I could probably like sign a packet and get 20 quid on eBay for them. Hey, <laughs> I can hear myself. <laughs> so, Lee, we've the guys have already. Hey guys, just doing some filming because the cameraman's not. Oh, hey cameraman Ruben. Is that Lee Arza? Better give you a pay rise. What happened? Ooh, <laughs> damn! Jeez! <laughs> yeah, go on. Uh, so, cameraman's busy doing nothing. Uh, surprise. So, Lee's behind the camera right now. I'm going to be the first one to use this pack-out kit because uh, Lee's too stubborn to use it. Um, so yeah, just cut myself on some metal or something. Classic. Classic Ruben. Oh my goodness! Craziest car charger. Blood warning. Oh, you know what, we'll use, use a cleansing wipe first. So I'm sure you've got some normal passes in here. Nathan's going to be cringing watching my film. He's going to be like, bro, it's all out of focus. <laughs> this? Nah, don't need that. Come on, where's the little plasters with SpongeBob on? Yeah. We're going to have to put a sling on them, mate. <laughs> I'll just quickly show you the roadkill. Artisan van one. Is that John's van? Pheasant nil. We're gonna have a funeral for it later. After Lee maliciously murdered it. Ruben, you're really milking this thing. Oh yeah. Ask if I could turn the power off and just connect that up. Yeah. I'll leave that off for the testing. All we've got to do is clip that and do the charger. Right, so Ruben's just turned all the power off in the house. So we're going to turn off the main isolator. What we're going to do, this armoured is connected in an adaptable box below. Um, it comes straight out of the isolator. So we're going to take that out, put the armoured into our Henley block, our tails into the Henley block that goes through to our new board, and then we'll run some new tails from the isolator to feed the Henley block. I don't really like seeing the um, single insulated cores straight from the armoured in the meter box but that's how it's been done and I guess that this is only accessible with a tool so I don't really know how um, it stands with all that but I usually like to see it into a fused isolator box but just got to work with what's here so um, I've got to sort all that out, get their power back on, um, the charger might have turned up by then. Whoever's installed it's used the black as the neutral and the grey as the earth. I know there's nothing wrong with that because, well, they've identified the earth, but come on. All you true electricians know that's cringeworthy. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. So I've put the towels in from the new board. Yeah. I've moved over the armoured from the house. Mm -hmm. So if I could just get you to do two tails from the switch, round, live in the back one, neutral in the front one. Yep. For that, for the live at the back, oh, yep. do you literally just strip it as long as the full thing? No, I strip or? it just enough to get in them two. Oh, okay. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit over because it'll be sitting behind. And when you push it up, just be careful it don't pull any of the oh, cores strong. round on itself. I usually screw the top one first mm -hmm. and then if you can feel that it's not pulling down then you can do the lower one. <sighs> right guys, we've got a spare five minutes. We can uh, keep out the wind and Ruben's just doing some tails in the meter cupboard. Elijah wanted me to 
read through some questions that was on, I think it was the House of Horrors video. First one, Ellen Robertson. I love how Lee loses at rock, paper, scissors, and the result is Ruben, you're off into the cobwebs. He gets his own back at table tennis though. Every apprentice has to go up through the ranks. He was pretty mean at table tennis. I reckon he practices. One more thing, if you were doing a rewire now, would you go radial or ring? Or did it just depend on the individual circumstances? Um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't like rings. If you can run a four mil radial in, I'd much prefer to open up a board and just see radials for every circuit. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's how people do it in Australia and America. I'd like to see rings go, to be honest. They create a lot of problems with testing. If someone's joined into it or you've lost the end-to-end -end reading, it can just be a nightmare. So yeah, I'd like to put radials in, to be honest. Eamon O'Halloran. Great video guys, what a mess. Glad to see your clean up. Corey is skiing. Is he in Beijing on the downhill? Go Corey. Who knows, he probably is to be honest mate. As an adult learner, I can pick up things easier listening to Lee as he seems to take time and is really thorough. Love to all the team, obviously, but Lee is clear boss man for me. Uh, last one. I didn't think you could run inside cavity walls is it because it's armoured that it's okay? On the video, it looks like the cable is run up inside the cavity and then back down to the consumer unit. Great video as always though. Um, yeah, so we have protection on our cables from the RCBOs. It's no different from it being in a floor cavity or a wall cavity or it being chased in a wall. So um, yeah, the cable's protected. It's not really an issue, but um, it just looks nicer than sometimes having to clip its surface. If we can go a little bit extra and get everything hidden, it's just a nicer outcome. Yeah, no, it's good to read through your thoughts and answer some of them for you. So um, yeah, keep sending them through. Really want to get the proper crimp tool for these. It's like 80 odd quid. If anyone wants to send me one. Okay, all right, so live out of there into the Henley block. Got all the lives at the back. House board, our board. Cool, so. Look who it is. Oh, so get some B roll. Of... Uh, so that bo house board can be turned on now. Right, okay. What's the point of these being face colours? Or is They're, that just it's, how it it's, was? That armoured goes all the way through the house to the fuse board. So they've, that's the live yeah and they've used the black as a new uh, usually we'd use the gray as the neutral the black as the earth yeah but they've done it the other way around but i've put a bit of tape on it right yeah okay. but yeah it's because it's armored cable oh is that just, how it comes when it's armored yeah brown black gray oh, I see. hi mate okay. yep yeah, barbet sorry barbet b-a-r b-e-w-t just one t how's the fun now quick did you get it so Ruben has just lovely, lovely, lovely finished off the tails. Power's back on in the house. So I'm just gonna stick some fire seal in them holes. And then DPD's actually just turned up. So we're gonna go grab some food. And then when we come back, we just gotta clip it. Second fix the car charger, do the testing. It'll we'll be done. So yeah, go, go have something to eat. Right, so we're back from Mecca's. So now I'm gonna have my actual lunch. Lunch part two. I'm gonna start getting the paperwork ready. Ruben's getting the car charger on the wall. All he's gotta do is literally clip it along. Um, so I might as well get all the paperwork ready and then as I need it, I'll just say, can you get R1, R2? Can you get the insulation resistance? Fill them out straight away. Um, just try and streamline things a bit. usually on the left. I feel like I've always pulled it through on the right. No. 
Really? Yeah, because we usually go up and behind them cables and then wrap it round. Oh, and right, on, the, on the template, I've drawn it around the stuffing van, that's on the left. Right, okay. You're going crazy. Yeah. Everyone I work with, Luke is the worst. I just have to drive past something and Luke's like, pub? Maccas? And I'm too weak to say no, I'm just like, oh, go on in. I've already fire sealed it without poking the CT ca cable through. Oh, okay. Seal the fires, bro. Um, Alright, that's it. So Ruben's just doing the ZS and the functional tests on the car charger. So what we've done is we've put this enclosure up next to the meter cupboard. We've got a nice 10-way board in there. So we've put our car charger in. It's got surge protection. We've got all these spare ways for the future works, the carport, the garage conversion. So that's all there ready. Uh, we've glanded into the enclosure and then we've also glanded into the board just to keep everything um, IP rated. So that's all nicely done. And then in the meat cupboard, our tails go into a Henley block, the house tails go into the Henley block, and then from the main isolator, feed in the Henley block. And we've brought our CT through and connected that onto the line coming away from the isolator. So, yeah, all in all, it's been a nice little job really, all nice and local to work so you're not carrying tools everywhere but just nice to do something a little bit different, it's not running it back to a fuse board in the house and I rate these enclosures, it's um, made by Europa but yeah, nice amount of room and a uh, good bit of kit so yeah, hope you've enjoyed it and um, learned some things and I'll catch you next time.